Tell me, do you know what day it is, Evie? Um, November the 4th. Not anymore. Remember, remember the 5th of November, the gunpowder, treason, and plot. I know of no reason why the gunpowder treason should ever be forgot. First, the overture. Yes. Yes, the strings. Listen carefully, can you hear it? Now the brass. I can hear it. Greetings all Anons and concerned citizens of the world, we are anonymous. Because of the countless atrocities our government has committed and the demand of the people, we have formed this declaration. We have made it clear that we do not agree with the current system of tyrannical taxing and control of the people. As of now, we declare our independence from the United States government. From this date on, we will be rebuilding the system. We the people will no longer comply with your unjust laws, your spying, your violations of our human rights, police brutality, central banking, taxation without representation, the lying politicians who are bought through donations and controlled by private interests and the two-party puppet system that simulates choice but always leads to the same thing. No longer will we be slaves to a system that does not listen to us. Henceforth, we the people will not comply with any gun bans, mandatory gun registrations, or government buyback plans. This includes executive orders or any unconstitutional bills that may make it through Congress. These would be violations of our Fourth Amendment right as well as our Second. We no longer have faith in our illegally elected officials or the people that they put into power without any vote. As such, we will comply with the Bill of Rights and the Constitution only. Any law that is not in the Bill of Rights and our Constitution will be removed from the books because they have been perverted by private interests and the power elite's desires for decades. To uncover any corruption, it will be required that all laws are written legibly and simply. This will prevent loopholes and hidden agendas that may be cleverly phrased. The central banking system is as of now, rejected by the people. We will not comply with your interest rates that do not truly exist. No longer will you print money without backing, destroying our economy and driving us into the dust. This current system is devaluing the dollar and is unsustainable. As such, a new monetary system will be developed by the people and will consist of interest-free money. The bankers will be held accountable for bankrupting our nation's economy and will face trial. It is not acceptable that they have been stealing our wealth for centuries. These individuals will be charged with crimes against humanity as well as fraud and, at the higher levels of command, treason. Surveillance is an unconstitutional act. The Patriot Act, H.R. 347, the National Defense Authorization Acts of 2012 and 2013, and Obama's new cybersecurity executive order are just a few examples of the current government attempting to strip away our constitutionally guaranteed rights. We will not comply with these laws and henceforth will do everything in our power to stop unconstitutional surveillance and the policing of citizens. This great nation was founded on the principalities of freedom. The first revolution was fought over taxation. This time the taxation was hidden within your banking system and the unconstitutional corporation, the IRS. We are still taxed without representation, as our government does not truly represent the people anymore. Our politicians' main concerns are to line their pockets with taxpayer money and bribes cleverly called donations. No longer. This administration has the nerve to call great men such as George Washington and Thomas Jefferson terrorists. 
The idea that we all love so much was fought and died for by men like these. These are things that have been bled for before and, if need be, will be bled for again. The individuals in power disrespect our forefathers' memories and ruin our image. These people will be brought to justice and held accountable in a tribunal according to constitutional law and then in a world court for crimes against humanity. From this day forward, we will strive to be a truly free nation as our forefathers wanted. This means no more political corruption. In this, we demand all politicians and power holders step down for a re-election process on November 5, 2013. During said election process, the media will not participate in any coverage. This will allow for unbiased elections based on the people's actual beliefs and ideals instead of what they hear on TV. The date that we march on Washington, you will try to arrest us and charge us with felonies via Executive Order, H.R. 347. Maybe even treason. This is an unconstitutional order and it violates our First Amendment. We will take this as an act of treason and war towards the people. This would violate our duty as Americans to remain true to our Constitution. This constant barrage of our rights is the cause for this declaration. If on before stated date, arrests are attempted in such a fashion, we will see it as an act of treason and war. If you harm one citizen, even with non-lethal force, it will be seen as an act of treason and war against the people. If you refuse to comply with our peaceful demands, then we will force them on you via the power of the people and, you will be charged with treason for failure to comply with constitutional law. We the people are the taxpayers. We the people are the ones who own this country. As such, when we the people are unhappy with the establishment due to corruption, it is our duty to destroy said establishment and rebuild one that is fit for the people. We are going to reboot our government with new controls to prevent future government corruption. Politicians are not going to be paid to do what people who truly care would do for free. Politics were never created to be a career. This document is not meant to replace our original Declaration of Independence, it is simply an addition by Anonymous. This was demanded by the people and shall be taken as a declaration that we will be free. Give us liberty or give us death. We are anonymous. We are the people. We do not forgive. We do not forget. On November 5th, expect us.